Is 2024 the year of love? Experts <laughs> predict a surge in engagements after the pandemic put a pause on new relationships. Alana Evanstein, the director of events at Hello Productions, is here to talk about what goes into planning the perfect proposal. Because it does, it takes a lot of thought, right? It does. And in this, it's all on the guy, right? So oh, that's the scariest <laughs> part. <laughs> So it's a lot of planning on his end, but of course, you know, I'm sure that, um, you know, asking friends and family helps out with that a lot. Um, you also want to include some people, you know, you don't want to include everybody because you don't want the surprise to get ruined. And the right, more people right. you tell, the more people you have to blow the surprise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Accidentally, after one glass of wine, just spill hey, in the beans. Hey, get a manicure. <laughs> like, you that would be buy one of my <laughs> Nice outfit. For our tomorrow you should night. Change. <laughs> you should change. That would be my friends. But I also think that people forget that proposals can be unique to the couple the same way that the wedding should be. Yeah. So if maybe a guy is watching right now planning, we should be making it unique to the woman herself, right? Exactly. Unique to her or him or to just their relationship, right? Sure. So something special maybe they both like to do or places they like to go. Everyone always thinks like so big. I got to go to a different country. I got to go <laughs> yeah. here. I got to go there. It could be as simple as maybe they like hiking and they go to a really nice spot. Maybe it's a traditional spot that they go to every year. So it's something that she's him or her might not be expecting, right. but it's so special and they're excited to tell that story. I'm so yeah. glad you brought that up because Boaz, who's part of our team here at Talk Pittsburgh, he revealed to us that his wife actually it. proposed to him at a Dairy Queen parking lot, right? He, she wrote him they like a little book and, and yeah. And so eat she, ice cream. But, you know, I, I do think like when you're when you're thinking outside of the box and it doesn't always have to be, you know, if you're in a relationship where it's a man and woman, it doesn't just always have to be the man. If you're in a, a different kind of relationship, it can be anybody proposing. Exactly. Anybody who's ready, right? So a lot of the times it is, you know, one person, mainly the guy, all that pressure. But sometimes it's the woman. Maybe they're yeah. just ready for it. They feel the connection and they're just ready to put themselves out there and do it. Yes. Yeah, and I, I will say Boaz's wife proposed to him. And I, ever since he told us that story, I'm like, yes, I love that. <laughs> I love that. Sometimes, ladies, you've got to take control. Like, I think I would have if do he I made me get wait. To this man? Yes, I'll ask him. Tonight. <laughs> Tonight. So we'll That's a woman's way. We're doing it right now. And then you're in control. <laughs> exactly. Back in the driver's seat, which is where we want to be. But I also know that engagement parties are right. kind of on the rise yes. as well. I had never been invited to one, and then all of a sudden it was like three in a row. How should people be planning these? Right, so I have seen an urge in this, or a surge in this, sorry. Um, it was one of those things that people didn't do, and now it's making such a comeback, and I am here for it. Yeah. Yes. So I think ways to do this is making it kind of fun and casual. You don't want to one-up your other events that you have coming up, because you do have a lot of events that will soon follow this engagement party. Right. But you want to make it fun. You want to make it casual. You know, you can make it a little more upscale. But having these, like, around the holidays is sometimes a great time. But I'm not saying, like, Christmas or things like that. Maybe during the summer months when it's like the 4th of yes. July and Labor Day, Memorial Day. Well, I was going to say, is this a lot of pressure to do the engagement parties too? Is it just all, like you're having all of these parties to lead up to the party? <laughs> So do you have right? <laughs> right. right. for the engagement party? Is that the couple? Is there any yeah. is there any etiquette on that? So the traditional etiquette, I would say, like the parents would probably host sure. this party, right? Their, you know, children have just got engaged. They're everyone's excited. They want to host this party. And I think to help with the parties leading up to the parties is keeping it casual, right? Okay. Yeah. So then, you know, keeping it a little more low key. Fun, engaging, no, no sit down dinner, like nothing. Yes, yes, nothing crazy. Right. Like apps, fun. You know, just keeping it like low key. And no gifts at something like this, right? Or so this is like the ultimate this is like, question. Okay, good. <laughs> well, because you're giving gifts at a shower, perhaps, and then you're also giving gifts at the actual wedding. So to give a third gift, here's a bottle gift of party. champagne. I was That's gonna right. say that is very like traditional yeah? on trend. A bottle of champagne, something to celebrate them, right? right? So I wouldn't think like card of money. You don't need to do that. You have don't all overthink these, it. Don't yeah. overthink it. Bottle of champagne, a congratulations. We're thinking of you. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, I love Ooh. that. It's a good idea. I, I want to go to a barbecue engagement party. Sure. Yes. This is amazing. Yes. Endless mimosas. <laughs> yes. All right. Oh, even if, better. <laughs> if you're interested in hiring Hello Productions to help plan your proposal or engagement party, we'll have more information on our website, kdka.com slash talkpittsburgh.